So we're gonna start by talking about one of the foundational services provided by AWS, and that is VPCs, which is the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud. Now, this is kind of a fancy name for what is essentially creating private networks that you can put your servers and other resources into. Let's actually read what they say because their description is actually fairly good. So VPC is a service that lets you launch resources in a logically isolated virtual network. So it's a private network. Each VPC is separate from each other. So servers inside of VPC A cannot communicate directly to servers inside of VPC B, even if they have the same IP address range because they are separate networks. You have complete control over the network environment, including the IP address range you can choose, the creation of subnets, how you carve up your um, IP address range, configuration of route tables, network gateways, all that good stuff. It's a foundational service. That's completely true. And that is essentially it. VPCs are the private network that you create to put your servers into. This is kind of different from other clouds you might be used to, like DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, all those good things that typically place you in a private network with your new servers, but that network is actually private to the entire data center you're in. So customers in completely different accounts are actually in the same private network, and those servers can technically can communicate with each other over that private network. In AWS with VPC, you can put servers in private networks that cannot communicate with each other unless you want them to. So it's extremely typical to actually have multiple VPCs in an account. You can use these to segregate different environments of your application or different applications, all that good stuff. So I'll stop there with this description. In the next video, we're going to get into a little bit more of what a VPC is comprised of and what that looks like inside of your accounts.